Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien? Moi aussi. Nice to be with you again. So while we do the introduction to the lesson, will you please see that you've got your books with you? And I'm going to start à la page 11. 11, 11. Bon, so I hope you enjoyed the, the, the song. I hope now without thinking you can say comment, comment tu t'appelles, comment ça va? ça va. We've got a long new word today. You'll see it on the screen. The word is qu'est-ce que c'est? Now you heard it in the video, in the song, qu'est-ce que vous voulez faire aujourd'hui? It means what, what, what? So it's actually a long way just to say what. So qu'est-ce que c'est um, is combined of que, what, et, is, ce, it. So the que, the e is now, you know, when, when there's an apostrophe, then there's something left out because the que ends on an e and the e starts with an e, so they took the one e out for the pronunciation. So it's qu'est-ce, qu'est-ce, the so what, is it que what it is que ce est so again ce is it and a e is is so the ce the e of the ce is taken out so it's se so if you want to use se alone you can do a lot with it you can say c'est moi it's me you can say c'est maman it's my mother if I ask you, qu'est-ce que c'est, I want to know what it is, then you can tell me it's a chair or it's a table, set in chaise or set in table. Um, so the C is, is alone used a lot. So qu'est-ce que c'est actually means what is it, what it is. So that S is just the C turned around. So it is and is it. And when you turn around a verb with something, you must combine it with a, or, or link it with a hyphen. So let's practice that. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? You got it? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Voilà. Now, usually on the vocabulary pages, they call it in our book, they call it sommaire. Those are the things that you have to learn for tests. The spelling and but I've seen in your first test that you did very well that you didn't have any problems with spelling and things like that so I'm very proud of you so just practice this so the sommaire tells you what you must be able to 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 do um, at the end of a lesson so the sommaire says now I can on the left hand side are you there ça va? say hello and give my name so it's bonjour je m'appelle Linda and then, what is your name? Read with me. Comment t'appelles-tu? Hello, Linda. My name is Alain. Salut, Linda. Je m'appelle Alain. I must be able to give my, my age. Quel âge as-tu? What is your age? J'ai 14 ans. J'ai 14 ans. Ask people how they are and say how you are. I am too. Ça va? Then, ça va bien, merci, comme si, comme ça, non pas très bien, ou ça va mal. You see? And then, they talk about masculine and feminine. Now, you'll see in our book that all the masculine words are always written in blue. And the feminine in red. I think they wanted pink, but the red is maybe more clear. So, I explained to you masculine and feminine. So, let me just go over that again. All the nouns in French are either masculine or feminine. There's no logic to it. There's not, this, this is not something I can think out. I must just learn it. And the only way to learn it is to repeat it a lot. So, uh, le, le livre, le livre, le livre, le livre. And then later on, if you want to say la livre, then it doesn't sound right. So, that's the only way. There's no other way that you can learn it. So, I don't know all the, all the gender of all the nouns. I uh, sometimes have to look it up. But the ones that you usually use, you know. So if I want to say the in French, I say le in front of a masculine word and la in front of a feminine word. So it will be le livre, but it will be la table. If I want to make it plural, 
then the le and the la both become le. So in plural, you can't actually see the gender, so le. And usually, in most of the cases, then your noun always gets an s. But that is a lesson for another day because there are lots of um, uh, different plurals. But in, in French, everything is in harmony. If the, the, the article becomes plural, then the noun becomes plural. If you have an adjective, it becomes plural. So that you learn later on. For now, you have to know that if I talk about le garçon, it's the boy. If I say les garçons, it's the boys. Because in garçon, you won't be able to hear the plural. There is an S, but you don't pronounce it. So be very careful to pronounce le correctly. Le and les. So le, la becomes les. Then, if I want to say a, in other words, the indefinite pronoun. I, for a masculine word, for a masculine noun, I use un, un. And for a feminine noun, I use une. So I will say un livre, a book. It's like un, deux, trois. Okay? Un livre. And a feminine will be une table. So a boy will be a garçon. And a girl will be une fille. And something very interesting is the French have a plural for a. In Afrikaans and English, we don't have. We say a man, men. A boy, boys. In Afrikaans, a man, months. A frau, frauens. But in, in, uh, in French, they say, no, what? what did you do with the article? They're very logic in their language rules. So they, they, they think, but where is the plural now? You can't just take the article away. So now they say the plural for un and for une is de. D-E-S, de. Le for the and de for some. So I usually say a man some men, a girl, some girls, a woman, some women. Um, otherwise, you forget to put the day because you don't put it in English. Okay, so if you look at, at the bottom of page 11, you will see that here they gave you the feminine of earn and in. That's the only one they use in this lesson. So they say the plural for un livre or in table, that's the feminine and masculine, un cahier becomes des cahiers. Une trousse becomes des trousses. So it will be a notebook, notebooks, and a pencil case, pencil cases. But we will say a notebook, some notebooks, a pencil case, some pencil case. The plural, we have a lesson on the plural. We do that separately, but just remember that for now. Oui, madame? Bon. Now these are vocabulary list, list de vocabulaire. And that have to be learned. All these lists have to be learned. Bon. Name things in the classroom. And that is now where you're going to use qu'est-ce que c'est. So now you can point to something and say qu'est-ce que c'est. And then the other person answers, this is a personal CD player. C'est un baladeur. C'est un baladeur. A baladeur can also be like a, 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 a portable thing that you put on your ears like your your mp3 or something like that, un baladeur. So say that with me, un baladeur, un baladeur. Then a pen, it's actually a ballpen pen, I don't know, I don't know the word biro or biro, I don't know if you know it, but just write there ballpen pen, that's un bic, un bic, so these are all masculine, un bic. An exercise book, the one that you write in is un cahier, un cahier, and your school bag is un cartable. Un cartable. Say that? Un cartable. Un CD. Is a CD. Un CD or un cd -ron. Un classeur is a file. So if you put all your papier, you put it in un classeur. Un crayon is a pencil. Un crayon. Un crayon. Then a felt pen like a cookie. Cokey or the board, a whiteboard marker or something, they call un feutre. Feutre is actually felt. So, un feutre, like de, e, un feutre. Un feutre. Un lecteur CD of un lecteur MP3 is a CD or MP3 player. So, they don't say player, they say reader. They say actually a reader, a CD reader or MP3 reader. Un lecteur MP3. Of a lecture CD, a lecture. 
a book, like the book that you're working from now, uh, a textbook is un livre. Un livre. Un livre. Then your computer is your ordinateur. Un ordinateur. Un ordinateur. And the laptop is uh, an ordinateur portable. An ordinateur portable. Your mobile phone, your phone is un portable. You carry it around, un portable. Un sac is a bag. Et un sac à dos is a backpack. Your dos is your bag, so un sac à dos. Un stylo is another word for un bic. Un stylo, in, usually it was uh, like a fountain pen. Like a more formal pen, like, like uh, as a bic, but you can use both, un stylo or un bic. Um, un tableau interactif, un tableau interactif, that's your white, interactive whiteboard in the class, the one that you can write on. Then a pencil sharpener is un taille crayon, un taille crayon. Now, taille is to sharpen or to custom make or to, because a tailleur is a, is a dressmaker or a, uh, someone who makes dresses or clothes or men's suits. So a tie is really to sharpen it, to make it nice, un tie crayon, un tie crayon. And then a paper clip is un trombone, un trombone. So I'm going to read it from the top, read it with me. Un baladeur, un bic, un cahier. Un cartable, un CD, un CD-ROM, un classeur, un crayon, un feutre, un lecteur CD, un livre, un ordinateur portable, un portable, un sac, un sac à dos, un stylo, un tableau interactif, un taille crayon et un trombone. Okay, now the feminine ones has all got U. They all got E in front. In what is a is a tin. Or also if you've got a hard pencil case, you can call it in what. In what. You know what's also a what? A nightclub is in boîte de nuit. It's actually a night box or a night tin in what. Then your calculator, une calculatrice. Remember your U, U, une calculatrice. Une calculatrice. Your chair, une chaise. Une chaise. A window, une fenêtre. You know, if an E comes between two consonants, I usually squash it. It's, it's really the step child of the French alphabet. So when it doesn't have an accent, it's very weak. So it's une fenêtre. Une fenêtre, une fenêtre. Then a sheet of paper is une feuille de papier. A feuille is a sheet. So une feuille de papier will be a sheet of paper. If you know the French um, patisserie, uh, mille feuilles, it means a thousands of layers, mille feuilles. It's like a custard slice with um, crème pâtissière in between. In gum is the one that did a rubber that you... And um, rub something out in gum. In porte is the door. In porte, in porte. In poubelle. In poubelle is a bin where you throw your papers in or your rubbish. In poubelle. In reg. I stop my word on the L. In reg. In reg. It's a, a ruler. In table. In table. Also on the L, in table. And then a soft pencil case, like a soft bag, that I usually call une trousse. Une trousse. Let's read from the top. Une boîte. Une calculatrice. Une chaise. Une fenêtre. Une feuille de papier. Une gomme. Une porte. Une poubelle. Une règle. Une table. Now, whenever you take out something now of your pencil case, just remember these words. Just say, I'm not going to use my bic, and then I'm going to use my stylo, and then I'm going to use my crayon, and my regle, and my gum. Try to do that, because the more you use it, the more you're going to remember that. Now, the last part of this page is les commandes. The French call it impérative, the imperative. 
Now we can see there's two, some of them have two forms. It's when I give my command to one person, the first one, and then when I give it to a group, the second one. The one ending on a Z is usually when I when I talk to a group or when I'm very polite. Then I can even talk to one person when I'm very polite. Then I will say, you will you will talk to me, the one with the room, because you will say, Madame, please write it on the board, écrivez. But if I talk to a single one of you, I've got the other one. Now, some of them, that just put the singular um, or the plural because um, they are too difficult. Now, it's verbs that change. We do that later, actually, only in grade 10 or 11. Oui? Bon. Asseyez-vous means sit down. I think you heard that in the class. Asseyez-vous. It's literally put yourself down. Put yourself down. Asseyez-vous. Then if I write complete, if I if I give it to one person, the, or the command, I'll say complete. Complete l'exercice. Complete the exercise. If I talk to all of you, I will say complete. Complete l'exercice. So let's re repeat it. Complete. Complete. Count, count. The M is actually pronounced as an N. So count, 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 and you all count counte, counte, count, counte. Copy, 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 and copy. Copy, 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 copy. Write, écrit, écrivez. Écrit, écrivez. So that again, écrit, écrivez. So I will say, écrivez le mot, write the word, of écrivez la date, write the date. Close, ferme, et fermé. Ferme, fermé. So ferme le livre will be, close the book. Ferme les livres, close the box. Okay, then play, uh, in pairs, jouer, jouer is to play, jouer, a sport to play, and to play a, Musical instrument is jouer, jouer à deux, jouer à deux, play to two people together. Levez-vous, get up. So, asseyez-vous, sit down, levez-vous, s'il vous plaît, get up. Open, ouvre, and ouvrez. Ouvre, and ouvrez. So, ouvre le livre, open the book, or ouvrez les livres. Watch, look at, regarde. Regarde-moi, look at me. Regardez-moi le petit. Or, regarde la télé, watch the television. Or, watch the door, regarde la porte. Répétez, repeat please, répétez. Répond, answer. Répond, answer the question. Répond à la question. Then, work in pairs. Travailler à deux. So, play in pairs and work. Travailler is to work. Travailler à deux. And then, prove, find the word. Prove le mot. Oh, that will also be trouvé in the plural, is it? Trouvé. Let's quickly read them again. Asseyez-vous. Complète. Complété. Compte. Compté. Copie. Copier. Écoute. Écoutez. Écrit. Écrivez. Ferme. Fermé. Jouez à deux. Levez-vous. Ouvre. Ouvrez. Regarde, regardez, répétez, répond, travaillez à deux et trouve. Now, in the next lesson, we'll use them. We'll go back to the, the work um, on the other pages and then we'll, we'll have all the things in the classroom and we'll, you, I can ask you what is this and you can say qu'est-ce que c'est. So, remember for today, please go through qu'est-ce que c'est and then read these words. And see and go back to the to the video and see um, if you can't pronounce it and see what the correct pronunciation is. So bon chance, good luck. There's no new song for today, but I'm going to play the video for you. Live the language. Um, I like it. I can hear it over and over again. It's so nice. So listen to the video. Look, uh, um, live the language in French. Um, I'll play it at the end of the lesson and then see if. How many words you can find? How many French words you can find um, that you can, um, and then write it down in the paper. And then maybe you can write, uh, send messages to each other and ask them how many did you find and how many did you find and see who's the winner. Ça va? 
See you next time. Au revoir. À bientôt.